Hi everyone, so this is Shayna, aka The Polish Jinx. Um, I've had requested to do a makeup storage collection video for a ridiculous amount of time on my Facebook page. So I just thought that I would go ahead and get one started. I'm going to try to make this short and sweet so it's not half an hour long. Um, as you all know, I like to talk, and my videos tend to get really long, so I'm just going to jump right into it. So I'm going to start right here. This is from the 24-hour Urban Decay palette, the 15th anniversary one, which is right here. Um, this is just the little velvet tray, and I put all my cream products in here. Um, on the right are three Avon ones. Let's just try to put this back a bit. These Avon ones I could probably throw out. They're terrible. I reviewed them on my blog. Um, and same with this Essence one. I'm never going to use them. I don't know why I keep them. The Balm is right behind. Then I've got Shiseido and Chanel Maybelline. I've got one Flower Beauty and one from Hard Candy. So we'll put that back. Then here, excuse the glare. See if I can avoid that. There we go. These are all pigments. I can go on top here. The front ones are all MAC. Um, they're just little MAC sample pots full. I had about 50 to 75 of these and I gave most of them away to my cousin. She got to pick whichever one she wanted. These are all Essence ones here. I really like the Essence ones. And then here is a MAC one. Um, forgive my nails. I just took off all my nail polish and cut my nails really short and haven't done anything yet with them. Here is just a mishmash. Um, it's got my travel makeup brush set from Hakuhodo. If you have $350 you randomly want to spend to splurge on a single um, luxury item, that would definitely be the item. Um, then I've got a Sephora makeup mirror here, and here is a manicure set. These are Stila empty um, eyeshadow pans. Um, if you can see the hole through the back of it, you just pop a pin in and the eyeshadows pop right out, so they're super easy to depot. Um, Safety pins. This is a travel thing with tweezers, scissors, um, everything you can imagine. Possibly in here, bottle opener, you name it. And then here are um, emery boards. Then in this one right here are just hair elastics and hair clips. Over here are my palettes. Okay, let's start here. This is a 28 neutral palette. Um, that I just need to throw out. It's that bad. Um, I don't know why I've kept it. I don't think I ever intended for it to make it into my stash. The two beside it right here are blush palettes. Some of them are good. Some of them aren't so great. Um, probably worth what I spent on them. This is my LMDB palette, which I'll show you in a second because it's gorgeous. And this is my 15 concealer palette that I bought off eBay. Um, that's exactly the same as the ones on BH and Coastal Scents, and I love it and totally recommend it. So this is the LMDB palette. Um, the packaging is the same as the NARS. It's that velvety, almost textured stuff that gets every fingerprint and every smudge and every piece of dust on it, as you can see. But that doesn't make it any less gorgeous. Seduction is a nice little lip color, barely there is an eye primer. Magic is this little cream thing that you can mix any powder with to turn it into a cream product, to turn any shadows into lip glosses or cream shadows. Then you've got Tang Teeny Sunburst Hot Pants Disco Ball and on the top Dangerous Sparkle Dust in Purple Haze. And their shadows are just so gorgeous and luxurious and yes. I'd like to say part of the reason why I'm talking so fast is to get through this video really quickly, which is true, but I also just talk really fast in real life. So this is the Urban Decay 15th Anniversary Shadow Palette. This is the Chantikai Rates of Spring Palette, which was on my blog. This is the Stila Palette, which I'm going to show you in a minute, and there's a reason why. This is the Wallpaper Palette from Urban Decay, the Balm um, New Tooth Palette, Urban Decay, Naked 1, Naked 2, and 3 palettes from Inglot. I have one more en route. And now to show you the Stila palette and why I'm going to show it to you. So this is what the outside of the Stila palette looks like. And this is what the inside looks like. These palettes are on clearance on the Stila website right now for $15 to all you Americans. If you're Canadian like me, they hate us and they don't want to ship to us. Um, so we're out of luck. 
Um, these are just great. The old Stila shadows used to come not in any packaging. You had to buy the packaging separate, and they had six pans and eight pans. Um, they're just fantastic palettes. It's the exact same size outer palette as the Ma palette from Shantikai, which my Rates of Spring one is, which retails for $54. The only thing is the pan sizes are a teeny tiny bit smaller, so they don't interchange, but they're the exact same shape, size, outer palette, and the brush is pretty much essentially the same that comes in them, and the brush comes with it. So for $15 for the empty palette, you don't have to have a bunch of singles running around, and as you saw with the empty Stila palettes, there's just a hole in the back. You pop a needle through, the shadows pop out super easy. I will hopefully get a couple more of these empty palettes from through American friends of mine before they're gone. Okay, to keep going, um, here are most of my lipsticks. There's a MAC there, Dior, Too Givenchy, NARS, NARS, Clarins, LMDB, By Terry, Chantikai. That's a... Lancome, I think, the Clarins, um, Clinique, um, I've also got a Quo and a Cora's in there, so that's what those are. Okay guys, I'm trying really hard to go as fast as I can to get through this, so these are all like my chubby sticks, um, Clinique chubby sticks, um, these are the CoverGirl ones, these are the Revlon ones, um, these are NYX Jumbo Lip Pencils, Lipstick Clean Lip Glosses, LMDB Lip Glosses, um, a Givenchy Lip Gloss, a Pro Lip Gloss. These are mostly gifts with purchases. Um, Lancome and Clinique. Here's Dior, Dior, Chanel. There's a Laura Mercier one right there. In the back here, these are all eyeshadow pencil, eyeliner pencils. Um, this one's a By Terry, a Clarins. And then essentially all the rest are Urban Decay, except for a set of five of these Smashbox ones, which I like, but I like the Urban Decay ones better. Um, these are Jumbo Eyeliner Eyeshadow Pencils from NYX. Eye Primers, my Problem Solved 20-in-1 Wonder Bomb from Bliss, which I've done a review on my blog and love. Uh, Julep makes a very similar one. My La Roche Posay Thermal Water, um, Tinted Moisturizer, all my tools, my little mini Shiseido um, curling thing for my bottom lashes. Um, then in here are foundations, my uh, Dior foundation, which has been my go-to for years. This is the Natural Touch Gosh Foundation. I've just started using it. I'm in love with it. The only complaint with it, and it's a very big complaint, is that you can't see what's inside. So you have no idea how much you've used up. You have no idea when you're going to run out. Not even the bottom goes up as you're using it. So it's just going to be a surprise. Um, here is the Age Rewind Eraser from Maybelline. Here are some Elizabeth Arden concealers, and this is a Gosh Green Concealer. This is a NARS Foundation. Um, these are blotting papers. Um, I also just bought the Shiseido Green Corrector Foundation Stick, but I haven't yet put it in my stash. In here is my skincare. To be honest, I depot or decant all of my toners and astringents into little ones just because they're easier for me to deal with. So this is the Vichy Normaderm, and this is the Clinique Acne Solutions. This is a little spot remover from Origins, which I'm just trying out, but I really, really like. This is my avocado eye cream from Kiehl's, moisturizer, um, all about eyes, Vichy Normaderm. Um, if you go into a shopper's drug mode and you want to try it, they have these samples. I've been given so many of these over time, and I just finally tried it out and loved it. Um, so I went out and bought a full size. I didn't want to use up the rest of the samples because the samples will be fantastic to travel with. So I'm saving these for travel, and I bought the full size, and this is uh, an Acne Solutions moisturizer and a brush over there. Over here, I just have my twenty my Grind Host um, from Urban Decay pencil sharpener, the best concealer brush ever made from Trish McAvoy. Probably the worst way to hold it. Um, a teeny tiny little brush that was ridiculously mocked for the price when it came out, and now I can't live without. And then these are just a bunch of kabuki brushes. Um, be dark to see. 
but the majority of them are ones from Guerlain that were just, oh, that's the same brush I pulled again. Most of these are just from Guerlain from bronzers, when I've bought bronzers. Um, yes. So in the bottom drawer is face stuff. I'm sorry, this is already 10 minutes long. I'm trying, people. Rimmel Stay Matte um, Powder. Um, this is a Cora's Face Powder. This is the By Terry Loose um, Powder, which I love. These are the Laura Mercier sponges, which I used religiously until I found the Shiseido Perfect Foundation Brush, which is my now go-to foundation brush. And the only way I apply my foundation now. So this is one of the most underrated products, in my opinion, um, in the makeup world. And it is by NARS. It is the Pro Prime Skin Smoothing Face Prep. And it is just amazing. Um, I love it. It just erases all your pores, all your everything. And I can't say enough good things about it. Um, a Laura Mercier loose powder that I'm trying. This is the HD powder from Makeup Forever. Um, my Boing and Benefit, um, my Boing by Benefit and Time Bomb from the Bomb. Concealers, which are my go-to concealers. This is a By Terry foundation. I don't really like, it just clings to dry patches. Um, this is a highlighter from Clarins. It's a pretty palette from a few years ago. I really should start using it. This is the cotton seed palette from Clarins, and that's what's in that drawer. Okay, I'm getting there, people. I'm almost done, really. Or at least I'm trying. Um, these are all just products I'm currently in the middle of using um, samples and testers of. Um, in here is nothing exciting. It's just that Julep eyelash curler and um, brush guards. Here are backup full-size mascaras and a backup of the foundation. And a backup of the foundation because I love it so much. And then this is slightly ridiculous. This is all mascara samples. Um, yes, I really have two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve, fourteen, sixteen, twenty, like twenty-five, twenty-six samples. I'm never going to get through them all. Every time I make a dent in them, I just get more. It's ridiculous. And I'm aware of that. These are other samples and testers of makeup products that I'm pretty sure I'm going to use and work through. Um, so they just sit there. These are all my Revlon lip butters, my L'Oreal color bombs, which are my favorite of all of them, my baby lips, more baby lips, more lip butters, and these are Color Whispers from Maybelline, and then in here are just lip balms and lip butters. Okay, people, I promise it's almost done. Here are my brushes. These ones here, there are actually one, two, there's four of them. These I just got off eBay. They got amazing reviews um, from blogs. They're, people call them the Real Techniques dupes because they kind of look like Real Techniques, but they don't claim to be Real Techniques. They're not really dupes, um, but they're synthetic brushes, and I really just wanted some synthetic brushes to play with because most of my brushes are real hair, and they're not good for creams and liquid products. So I'm going to try these out. I don't know how much I'll like them, but we're going to see. And then here is the Shiseido um, Perfect Foundation Brush, which again is just to me the most perfect foundation brush in the history of foundation brushes. This is my prep spray from Urban Decay, which I've talked about on my blog and I really, really like. Let me just go to this angle here. This is hand sanitizer um, for when I'm doing my makeup or my face. This beach tonic from Julep, I've never blogged about or mentioned yet, but I'm actually surprisingly really, really liking it. I've only used it a few times, but I don't like using body butters or moisturizers on my legs because I don't like the feeling of them being greasy or having to wait for them to dry. And this is just wonderful. So I really, really like it. Um, here's a hand cream. These are just all mascara wands. Um, I get them from a few girlfriends who work at cosmetic counters because I just don't like using 
the ones that come with them most of the time, especially if I'm doing friends makeup or whatever else. That way everything stays sanitized. Um, and yeah, this is my Tom Ford, not my Tom Ford, my Edward Bess. I don't know why I said Tom Ford. Um, Kabuki brush, the, my favorite brush um, on the planet. Um, everyone's heard me go on and on about it before, so I'll just stop. And hand sanitizers. Okay, people, so I swear I'm almost, almost, almost done. I just have this drawer here. This is the last drawer. And in here are all my eyeshadows, foundations, and bronzer. So if we go here, I'm going to do this really, really quickly because I've done a post on my eyeshadows before. This is my Kaleidoscope from LMDB, Chanel, 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 Chanel. All those are Chanel, Chanel. These are all Chantecai. These are all Dior. And now I'm making a mess of them. Of course I am. This is another Chantecai. This one is just about to be reviewed on my blog. It's the Shadow of the Rose, so look for that soon. These are two liquid sh um, ones from Dior, and these are two liquid ones from Charlotte Ronson. So that's my eyeshadows there. In here, wow, these have just become a really big mess. This is a Lancome. These are all Lancome. These are Lancome individual shadows. Flower Beauty. Uh, Elizabeth Arden. Estee Lauder, some cream shadows from, these cream shadows from Too Faced, these are Clinique, these are Quo, this is Laura Mercier, these are by Terry, these three pencils are by Terry, and these are all Chorus. So then if we go here in the back here, these are all my foundations. This is my Rosy Glow from Dior, which is my fast becoming my favorite. These are two Marcel blushes, a cream and a powder, an Inglot, and a gosh. Um, this one is a stick from Smashbox. These are both NARS. One's a cream, one's not, one's Penny Lane. And this one's Deep Throat. Um, this is a blush from Physicians Formula. I haven't tried it yet, so I can't speak about it. Lancome, 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 Lancome. And this is a Chantecaille. Um, Because the one in my palette is broken and smashed, so that's a replacement. This is the Chantecaille Highlighter Bronzer Face Powder. I don't know if in this glare I'm going to get. There we go. Um, I wish I liked it more than I did. I don't. It just doesn't work on my skin as much as I want it to. But it is gorgeous. This is a Essence Sunkissed Liquid one. These are two gosh stick ones. This is a bronzer from Clarence that I actually really, really like. Um... And there, it, this is a Lancome cream one, uh, an Urban Decay, a MAC, Charlene. This is the Terry Inca one, which you've seen on my blog many times. I've been using it for like a year and a half, two and a half years actually, and it still looks brand new. And then these are Terracotta um, Mineral in Light, um, because I got them, I got a deal on the second one at Winners. So that is my stash. Sorry, people, I tried really, really hard to keep it short, and it looks like it's 19 minutes. But, yeah, I hope you liked it. If you have any questions on specific products or want to see specific reviews, just let me know. Um, I'd love for you to upload a video response with your makeup stash, because I just love watching them. They're my favorite thing on the planet to watch on YouTube. And I will see you all later. Thanks.